Heavenly Father, today I want to take the time to pray some apostolic prayers upon your children and the persecuted lambs, Father God, everywhere in the world that are being persecuted by their persecutors and oppressors through these different types of modern-day slavery programs throughout the world, Heavenly Father. So today, Father God, I'm going to take the time to pray some biblical scriptures concerning the subject of apostolic prayers, Father God, from your word, from a prayer book by John Eckhart called Prayers That Rout Demons and Break Curses. So I'm going to pray these wonderful scriptures over all you wonderful lambs out there, the children of God, the people of God, and the innocents, the persecuted, that are being persecuted through different types of modern day slavery programs throughout this world. So I'm going to start. Heavenly Father, I ask that you keep your children and the persecuted lambs from all evil in Jesus Christ's name, John 17:15. Father, I ask that you sanctify your children and the persecuted lambs through your word of truth, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, John seventeen seventeen. Father, I ask that you let your children and all the persecuted lambs that are being persecuted through these different types of modern day slavery programs by their persecutors be one with their brothers and sisters that the world might believe that they have been sent, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. John seventeen twenty one, Father God, my heart's desire and prayer for Israel is that they might be saved. And Father, I thank you that the heart desires of your children, Father God, one of the desires for your children is for Israel to be saved, that they might be saved, Father God, that the people in Israel might be saved, according to Romans 10, 1 in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I ask that you let your children and the persecuted lambs be counted worthy of their calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of your goodness and the work of faith with power in the lives of your children and the persecuted lambs, Father God, all over the world and all over America. In Jesus Christ's name, 2 Thessalonians 1.11. Father, I ask that you let your word have free course in the lives of your children and the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. 2 Thessalonians 3 1. Heavenly Father, I ask that you give your children and the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of Jesus coming from you, Father, in Jesus Christ's name. That wisdom and revelation coming from you to your children and to the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world, according to Ephesians 1.17, in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I ask that you let the eyes of the understanding of your children and the persecuted lambs be enlightened, enlightened, Father God, that your children and the persecuted lambs might know what is the hope of their calling and what are the riches of the glory of your inheritance in the saints and what is the exceeding greatness of your power toward your children and the persecuted lambs who believes. Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, according to Ephesians chapter 1, verses 17 and 19, verses 17 through 19, rather, in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I ask that you strengthen your children and the persecuted lambs with might by your spirit in the inner man, in their inner man, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, in the inner man of your children and the persecuted lambs, in Jesus Christ's name. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 16. Father, I ask that you let Christ dwell in the hearts of your children by faith and let your children and the persecuted lambs be rooted and grounded in love and let your children and the persecuted lambs comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height of your love. Heavenly Father, in Jesus Christ's name, according to Ephesians chapter 3, verses 17 through 18. Father God, I ask that you let your children and all the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world know the love of Christ, which passes all understanding, 
that your children and the persecuted lambs might be filled with all the fullness of you, God, my Heavenly Father, in Jesus Christ's name, Ephesians 3.19. Heavenly Father, Lord, I ask that you do exceeding abundantly above all that your children and the persecuted lambs can ask or think according to the power that works in your children, that works in the persecuted lambs. Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. Father, I ask that you let utterance be given unto your children and the persecuted lambs, that your children and the persecuted lambs may open their mouths boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. In Jesus Christ's name, Ephesians 6.19. Father, I ask that you will let the love of your children, Father God, and the persecuted lambs abound more and more in knowledge and in all judgment. In Jesus Christ's name, for your children, Father, and the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world, in Jesus Christ's name, according to your word, in Philippians 1.9, in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I ask that you let your children and all the persecuted lambs approve things that are excellent. To approve things, Father God, that are excellent. In Jesus Christ's name, that your children and the persecuted lambs might be sincere and without offense until the day of Christ Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name, Philippians 1.10. Father, I ask that you let your children and the persecuted lambs know Jesus and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death. In Jesus Christ's name. Philippians 3.10 Father, I ask that you let your children and all the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world be filled with the knowledge of your will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding that your children and all the persecuted lambs might walk worthy of you unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work and and in increasing, increasing in the knowledge of you, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, Colossians 1, verses 9 through 10. I ask, Father God, that you let your children and all the persecuted lambs be strengthened with all might, Father God, according to your glorious power upon your children and the persecuted, Father God, and to all patience and long suffering with joyfulness in Jesus Christ's name. Colossians one eleven. I ask that you let your children and all the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world, Father God, stand perfect and complete in all the will of you, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. Colossians four twelve. In Jesus Christ's name, and I pray that your divine will will be done in the lives of your children and all the persecuted everywhere in the world, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, and that you would destroy every satanic will that the devil and the plans that the devil has plotted and planned against your children and against the persecuted, Father God, with your power and your anointing in the blood of Jesus Christ, in Jesus Christ's name. I ask, Father God, that you will let your children, Father God, that you will let your children hold spirits and the persecuted hold spirits and souls and bodies be preserved blameless unto the coming of their Lord Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ's name. First Thessalonians 5.23 Lord, I ask that you give your children and the persecuted lambs peace always by all means and be with your children and the persecuted lambs, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, according to Second Thessalonians 3.16. Father God, I thank you that your children and all the persecuted lambs make supplication, intercession, and give thanks for all men and leaders in their nations, Father God, where they live and in the church, Father God, that your children and the persecuted lambs might lead a quiet and a peaceable life in all godliness and honesty, Father, in Jesus Christ's name. First Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 through 2, in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I thank you that your children, Father God, your children and the persecuted lambs, Father God, all over the world, 
receive multiplied grace and peace through the apostolic anointing, Father God, that comes from you, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, according to Second Peter 1, 2. In Jesus Christ's name. Heavenly Father, I thank you that your word is done, Father God, for bringing the apostolic anointing upon your children and the persecuted lambs and their lives, Father God, in any given area of the lives of your children and the persecuted everywhere in the world, Father God, that put their trust in you and your word, Father God, and put their trust in your son, Jesus, Father God, and the trust in the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit as well, in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, Father God, for being so good to your children all over the world and the persecuted. And I ask that you will cover all your children and the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world, Father God, with your hedge and shield of protection covered with the blood of Jesus Christ upon your children, Father God. And that you will send your guardian angels to protect your children and guide and direct your children, Father God, into the path of righteousness, into your path of light, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. And I pray, Father God, that you'll protect your children and the persecuted from their persecutors and oppressors, Father God, and from the witches that hunt them down to curse them, Father God, and to hurt and destroy them, in Jesus Christ's name, and from perpetrators and from perverts, Father God, and from all evil spirited people that want to hurt them and harm them. And from predators that want to get in their lives to destroy your people and your children and the persecuted, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. I thank you for sending your guardian angels to encamp around your children today and every day, 24-7, every day, Father God, to protect your children from evil spirit to people and to keep evil spirit to people from harming them, Father God, in any way and keep these evil people away from them, away from your children and the persecuted from a distance, Father God, from a bay. In Jesus Christ's name. And I thank you for protecting your children and the persecuted from witches and from all witchcraft attacks. Father God, that you would cover your children with your glory shield, covered with the fires of the Holy Spirit and the blood of Jesus Christ, to will off all witchcraft attacks all from your children, Father God, that no witchcraft would take no hit upon your children, nor the persecuted from any witches that's harassing your children and the persecuted with any type of witchcraft or dark sorceries, Father God, and voodoo, Satanism, any type of witchcraft, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, and that you'll protect your children from evil eye curses, Father God, from evil Predators that prey upon them with evil eye curses to curse your children and the persecuted, Father God, be out of vengeance and hatred and jealousy towards them in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, Father God, for answering these prayers according to the scriptures of your biblical word, Father God, and that you always keep your word and do what your word says, Father God. You always perform your word, and I thank you for performing your word in the lives of your children and the persecuted. Lambs everywhere in the world that are being oppressed by their persecutors through these different types of modern day slavery programs throughout the world, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, amen.